Judy, you did it. Ready, Bean? So here we have the Outward Hound Raise the Roof, Dog Brick Flip, Slide, and Treat Dog Puzzle. I ordered this off of Chewy for, it was originally $24.99 and I paid $14.95 for it. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay $25 for this, I'll be quite honest. Uh, Dizzy, would you agree? Would you pay twenty five? Okay. Anyway, so this is the the dog brick. This is considered an intermediate level two uh, dog toy, I guess. It has twenty hidden treat compartments, and they flip up. I don't know if you can see that. They flip up. There's nothing in there. They come out, and then they slide. So there's different options in the video. The first introduction I did with them, I didn't put any food in the slide. I thought I would make it a little bit easier for them for the first time. Um, and it's cool because these can come off and you can wash them. I haven't tried to get this one off yet. I'm hoping you can, I'm assuming you can, um, because these will probably get a little grody after a while, putting dog food and, and treats in there. But it was, it was a cool little toy, fun little activity for the little dogs. You know, the winters are long here in Syracuse and they get really 
cold and Ziggy here prefers not to be in the snow and the cold if he has an option so we needed to find something to kind of keep them occupied and stimulated while we're not allowed to be you know outside enjoying the the fresh air as much going for walks and running around and stuff so I thought I would try something novel and, and silly and fun so I just randomly like I said ordered this off of Chewy just to kind of see how they did with it and if it kind of sparked their interest um, right out the gate they didn't quite understand it and I've never done anything like this with them before so it's reasonable that they just kind of were like oh what am I supposed to do here but once they figured out and understood what was kind of expected of them they understood the assignment um, they kind of got to it right away I don't know if it's something that's gonna keep their interests more than a couple of times to be quite honest i've used this one more time with them and they got it even quicker at least Ziggy did uh creature decided he just wanted to stare at it and resource guard it against the other dog so that's another conversation to be had um but yeah I, I feel like it's fun and it's novel a few times maybe if you don't use it all that often that way like they kind of forget about it and it's like oh this is a fun thing to do again but um everyday use probably not i mean i guess if you have like a dog that's like a really fast eater and you need to use like a slow feeder you can use this for like their dinner time and you can divvy up all the kibble amongst uh, the little compartments to slow them down a little bit but again it's I'm not gonna say it's not meant for larger dogs but dogs like our Malinois um, can literally just thrash this thing around and break it apart and, and be done with it in just like a minute or so so it's probably best suited for dogs that are a little bit smaller and gentler like the little dogs are because if I wouldn't even think to give this to Narco because he would probably just flip it over and, and that would be the end of that. But it does seem like it's pretty indestructible. So they did you know, pull these out in the video and they were kind of throwing these around and pushing it around a little bit. So it is, it is well made in that sense, but um, I don't know about more like a heavy pod dog as, com as compared to the little ones. Um, but other kind of like cool little tidbits about this, it's made with food safe materials, BPA and PVC and phthalate free. So it's, you don't have to worry about the colors, bleeding and the dogs, you know, ingesting things that probably aren't ideal for them to eat. Um, I'd be interested to try maybe a level three. I think it goes up to a level four. Let me check here. I think you can get a little bit more difficulty as you go up. Yeah, so there's, this is, there's beginner, there's, this is the intermediate level two, there's advanced and then there's expert, which is level four. So maybe I'll try the level three and level four and see how that goes, see if it keeps their interests a little bit longer. Um, you know, I'm not saying that they weren't interested in it, it's just, you know, it probably gets old fast. But if you're looking for something to kind of keep your dog occupied and entertained and something different, this could definitely be an option. It says it helps reduce destructive behavior by exercising your dog's mind. Maybe. For a short time. <laughs> you know. You still gotta do other things with your dog to keep them, you know, destruction free. But yeah, I would say that it's definitely something cool to try. You know, if you can get it at a discounted rate like I did, I would definitely um, do that. I don't know if it's worth $25, but to each their own. And it says the care instructions are clean, using warm water, mild soap, and thoroughly made of food safe material. So overall, it's a cool little, cool little fun thing to do with your dogs. You know, like I said, here in Syracuse, it just doesn't feel like the winter ever ends. So it's just something new and exciting and something fun for the dogs to do. So yeah, I'm curious if other people have used it, what they think of it. It's like, kind of reminds me of, um, what was that game growing up with all of the, guess who? And you had to like, does your person have red hair? And that they did, you flip down all the people with the red hair. That's kind of what I think, when you think of, but yeah. That's just uh, our little quick review and I'll use it a few more times with the dogs and then I'll probably forget about it and put it in a corner somewhere, but you know, it's fun. Let me know what you guys think, if you uh, enjoyed it, if you've used it.